Hi, in this uh, slide I've taken, uh, borrowed uh, of a slide from Jeffrey Moore's fantastic book called Dealing with Darwin. You can actually Google that and there's a website that supports his book that has all of these slides uh, in it. And as long as I give attribution to him, which I'm doing right now, um, there's permission to use these slides. Uh, you'll notice in the background the adoption curve that Everett Roberts, uh, Rogers has sort of discovered and, and, and uh, promoted himself. And <clears throat> what Jeffrey is saying is that when you first start off a business, uh, you know, or is trying to sell a new product or a new concept, there's a, uh, this is where the, the, the innovators uh, hop in and they help co-create the product. Then there's actually a little bit of a chasm. This is more than you need to know as far as his theory. But what's important is, is that when a product starts to take off, What's really important is product leadership. So from a distributor viewpoint, this was back in the 60s, 50s, 60s, 70s, when distributors could get a very good exclusive franchise manufacturer who really was the first and best at making a certain kind of product, open up a new category of product, if you will. And the job of the distributor in exchange for an exclusive franchise was to get higher salespeople and go out and do 100% prospecting, bang on doors, uh, teach people what the product was, how to like the product, not to be afraid of the product. If the product had problems, I was going to be taking care of all those issues that you have to do when people are new buyers and don't know anything about it. Once the product has matured, everybody's ever going to buy it has bought it. So now we're up here at the at the mature life at part of the life cycle to saturate a market. Maybe there's a razor blade replenishment opportunity. Then we either have to figure out how to pick customer niches and, and, and give them exactly what they want. Or in the case of Walmart, it's like, OK, what we're going to do is this, we don't make we don't teach people to use products. We just take existing products and we get them to customers at a at a lower everyday cost. So Walmart's proposition is our stores are where they are. We have 99% fill rates in the top 100,000 SKUs in your consumptive life. And uh, we have everyday low prices. Take it or leave it. Now, in the case of distributors, they're able, in many cases, to do the and both. In other words, if you think about an integrated sole supply deal that you're doing with a very large local customer on all of their uh, MRO items around a plant, uh, you're, you're providing a one-stop sh stop shopping assortment of items, which may include a lot of de facto special stock items. They're the only ones that buy it. Your other 100,000 customers don't buy it. Uh, and by working with them hand in glove, you can get a lot of your cost to serve down, which allows you to give them a, a lower price so you both win. Now, some channels will go into decline. Um, if you think of uh, VHS videotape distributors. In 1976, the first VHS machine was sold in the United States. In 2006, the last VHS tape of a movie was made. They haven't made any more since then. So there was an explosive life cycle, consolidation. Think of Blockbuster. Then Blockbuster went broke because people don't use VHSs anymore. They stream from Amazon or Netflix. And so that whole life cycle is over. The question is, can you reinvent yourself and distribute uh, uh, electronically or whatever? Um, so that's the, 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 the life cycle and different strategies for each stage of the life cycle. And what it suggests to us is that at each stage, we need to rethink how we sell or interface with the customer and what we're selling to the customer. First, we're selling product. Then we're saying, well, we have commodities, but we have service. Then we're selling, we're selling, we're selling, we have spe specially tuned, integrated service. And then we may have to get into category renewal. That's it. Thank you.